Hello. Uh, you know how there are lots of uh, British and American variances in terminology when it comes to food, specifically savoury food, like, you know, chips, crisps and all of that. Um, I think there's one sort of category of food that gets kind of overlooked in this discussion, and that's fruits and vegetables. I mean, why, oh, why are we overlooking the healthy foods? Well, it might be because they look quite like this. So not a reason to overlook them uh, at all, in fact. Um, but yeah, it's true. There are quite a lot of terminological differences when it comes to your greens. And so in no particular order, here are five of them starting with the most phallic. You say zucchini, I say tomato. Not That's not accurate actually, although can you imagine two tomatoes with that? Don't, you filthy little. Zucchini, of course, it's this green thing. And uh, <laughs> so in Britain, of course, we don't refer to it as a zucchini. We refer to it as a courgette, uh, which sounds like something that Elvis Presley might have ridden. I'm referring to the car, the Corvette. I'm not saying he rode a courgette. He could have done. Scallions, you know, they may look like a ponytail, but in fact they are this. It's something that uh, Americans also call a green onion. Um, not something that has particularly been on my radar, but I must say this, that scallion to me sounds like it, it should be some kind of seafood, you know, like scallops perhaps. Um, but in the UK, we refer to scallion or green onion as a spring onion. So slight difference there. Uh, either way, it still looks like a ponytail. Okay, so in the early days of living in America, I remember very early on people referring to romaine lettuce and not really understanding what that was in terms of the different categories of lettuce. Used predominantly in a Caesarean, that's Caesar, Caesar salad, what am I talking about? Use it in pregnancy, stuff lettuce into a woman's, you know, to get her to deliver the baby. That would be uh, really odd, although it'd be a very healthy kid. And, and it is little wonder that I was so confused by it because I know this very lettuce as cos lettuce, cos lettuce, C-O-S lettuce um, back in the day, uh, possibly because of the Greek island of Kos, just for a little uh, piece of trivia there, uh, from where it's believed to have originated. I'm reading my own article on this, so I am quoting myself. You really can't beat that. Um, which brings me on, in fact, to entry number four. So long before this food item merged into a uh, product of headphones by Dr. Dre, um, it was in the United States and still is to this day called Beat. They're just beats, aren't they? Um, which, you know, is kind of fun. You could almost use them actually, looking them as drumsticks to create a beat. Different spelling, I understand that. But beets are, of course, not quite known as beets in the UK. They are known as beet roots, uh, which, funnily enough, is the root word. It's That's not true, and that's stupid. Uh, either way, I'd love to see Dr. Dre stick those in his ears and listen to Spando Ballet, if that's what he's into. I, I have no idea. So imagine my surprise when I first moved to the US and I, I started hearing about this magical thing called an eggplant. Um, you know, I was I was expecting to see a, a green sprout with some uh, plumpy eggs uh, falling off it. Not the chocolate variety, but those that you get normally, traditionally speaking, from a chicken. But this is America. Things are different here. So maybe, you know, somehow nature um, had a conundrum and decided, I'm going to go with the plant on this one. Um, but it, it turns out that no, they're just shaped somewhat like eggs, but they look like this. You know, rather droopy. You stick those with the zucchini and again, you're in business. Um, but they're very nice actually. Since becoming a vegetarian, I've actually taken to this food because they have a kind of meat texture almost, which, you know, is weird for a plant. But then again, I'm the person that thought that uh, eggs grew from said plant, so uh, you can't have everything. And eggplant is, is what Americans call them. But we don't. We go with the French word again. And that word is aubergine. Thank you. That's it for this episode of Lost in the Pond. You can get back now to your unhealthy traditional Christmas food. Thanks. Bye.